two bears give a hiker the scare of her life. No, 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 don't get crazy. Good day to you. Welcome to the vlog. Today, we are in the forest and Malachi is out of the shot. We're in the forest uh, just up the road from our house. It gets very desolate, very dark, very spooky. Because out here, wild animals lurk and they're looking to kill us. On this cedar tree that's like torn up. Malachi agrees. Sorry. That's true. Now when my family and I were traveling the country full time, we did a lot of hiking in different parts of the country. Different mountains, different forests. Every time I was a little, little apprehensive because you don't know what animals lurk around the corner. Most of the time, nothing. Badgers and raccoons. Those raccoons can, uh, they can tear your face off. Malachi just told me that badgers only live in the prairie and in Africa. They don't live here. Why don't you just shut it? I grew up around this area and the one thing, the one animal that did cause me apprehension is the mountain lion. Cougar, beast of your loins, as they call it here. This is the creepy thing about mountain lions is they will hunt you. They can. Like you won't see them, you won't hear them but they'll see you and if you're by yourself and you're not very large or very intimidating looking and they're starving, they'll take care of you. Well, just a few hours ago, we're hearing from Larimer County officials. They've decided to close those trails once again after rangers patrolling the area apparently spotted several mountain lions out and about. Since 1990, Colorado has had 16 injuries from mountain lion attacks and three deaths. There's probably more of them than a lot of people think, but they are elusive and uh, typically don't bother humans. But this attack is a reminder. While we love the outdoors, we are in their territory. We had an animal incident the other night with Malachi. That's why he's here and I'm trying to get him to come tell you the story, but he doesn't want to. Okay, so I had gone to the store the other night and came back and the family were like, Dad, you just missed it. That's how Z talks. He's always like, Dad, come here. Ah! All right, come tell your story. So like it was nighttime, I forget what time, but like dark out. And then so I went outside to take our puppy out to the bathroom and I heard footsteps behind like the shed. And then like something r ran out like as fast as it could behind our house. A wolf ran. So I ran in yelling there was a wolf and then our mom got all scared. So then our mom ran out calling her name. So then our puppy got all scared and ran inside. And then Zeelan was in the bathroom, so he thought there was a murderer. <laughs> he thought there was a murderer? Yeah. Why? Because oh, he, he heard you guys yelling. So that happened. <laughs> so that happened. Do you want to tell him what it turned out to be? It, uh, it was our neighbor's dog. He's a very friendly little dog, but when you see it at night, it's a beast. It's the wolf of the West. Call Jared Gillis. Cell service isn't great out here in the middle of nowhere, it turns out. Who would have known? Who would have thought? Yeah, it's not gonna work. Okay. So I'm trying to get a hold of my uh, my friend Jared Gillis, who is a, he's like an avid outdoorsman. And I think probably has beneficial tips, unlike mine, but I'm curious. I'm gonna give you my tips and then I'm gonna see, once I get a hold of him, how closely his tips match up with mine. So. First tip that I have is to learn about what animals actually exist around where you're going to be hiking. At least for us, when we were traveling around, we'd be in a different state, a different place that we've never been to. We didn't even know what animals existed. Most of the time, not many. And then I've looked up the stats for animal kills. Animal kills. Animals kill people far less than you might think. Even animal encounters, like whatever animals you are most intimidated by. I think if you look up how many encounters people actually have with that animal, it's, it's extremely slim. It's like any other fear that we have. It's usually unreasonable and unnecessary, and it's just all in our heads. So you gotta get over, it's just a mental thing that you have to get over, because it's not a realistic fear. Tell that to the people who've been attacked by animals. <laughs> it's real. 
It's not gonna conquer conquer your fear of them though. Cause like when grandma's friend died from it, like even if she knew that- Yeah, that happened. <laughs> Cause when she died, there's only, only three people have died from them. But it's like a fear of dies. being attacked by a shark or a fear of dying in a plane crash. See, like it happens, but it's so infrequent and so rare that to let that limit you and let that like prevent you from doing something that is uh, amazing, like being outdoors or convenient, like flying, it's like unreasonable. It's not rational. It's an irrational fear. It's not unreasonable though either. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's reasonable for you to die. It happens quite a bit. It's unreasonable for me to die. No, because it still happens a lot. I've never died in my life. Yeah, it could happen tomorrow, though. But chances are, it won't happen that way. One, it's just, it never happens. And two... Oh, it does happen. It'd be an amazing story. And I don't think I'm going to die with an amazing story. Like, he was killed wrestling a cougar. Oh, gosh. Here comes one now. Any other tips? I'm trying to think of anything else. You just don't go outside. <laughs> just don't go outside. Okay. You can do that too. I'm trying to think of any other tips that Jared might say. So I can be like, yeah, see, I knew that. Nothing. All right. Hopefully he has better tips than this because I don't have any. Okay. We moved to another spot. I have one bar. We'll see if it's enough to get a hold of him. I don't know. I think he's just not available. Pfft, what a jerk. That guy. Oh my, it's working! Hey! Wow! I can't believe it! Do you have any tips, tricks to get around that? Irrational fears of, of like animal, wild animals? Yeah. Did I ever tell you about my irrational dream that I have every time I go backpacking and I sleep in a hammock? Really? I want to hear. Yeah, so we, we sleep in a hammock, no, no tent, just under the stars. And I have this reoccurring dream that a bear comes up and is smelling me in the hammock and so it just starts eating me <laughs> and it happens every single time that's hilarious <laughs> you don't even have like any dangerous bears around you no so uh what i do is i just don't go to sleep that's a good idea <laughs> i like that uh you know sometimes just being with other people in the woods uh kind of emboldens you and gets you over some of those fears so getting out there with other people and plus it's more fun to enjoy the outdoors with other people anyways so well it depends on the person <laughs> i backpacked with a guy that was terrified the entire time he would be in the tent and he would be like oh what if what if somebody's outside getting ready to murder us I'm like <laughs> nobody's outside like go with somebody that's not terrified that's a good one i gave my tips before i called you because i wanted to compare them and see if i got any that you got I did not get yes. that one. And I didn't have a good and, bear uh, story either. The uh, the other one is, you know, Bob Newhart. I don't know if you've ever seen that sketch. Yeah. Where he just says, stop it. Just don't be afraid. Just stop it. That's yeah. probably the just best just advice you could possibly give. Yeah, just stop it. Stop All right. Any others? Uh, no. What are your tips? I can't wait to hear your tips. But you got to wait and watch the video. Okay, I'll watch. All right. Well, thank you, okay. good sir. You're welcome. All right. We'll chat later. Okay. Bye. All right. Goodbye. Whose tips were better? Who's a better outdoorsman? Who would survive a bear attack more based on this video? Well, yours are more unrealistic. <laughs> Jared's are like things that like... Would actually help? Yeah, from like watching people, like pros that do things. You just think of things. 